Hi, my name is Claudia Haynes, and I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the Homer Public Library in Alaska. In 2015, the Association for Library Service to Children granted us a Curiosity Creates grant, which funded a weekly after-school program, and each week we met as part of the Maker Club. So the Maker Club was an opportunity for kids to come to the library and explore both high and low tech projects. One of the projects that we did, which was highly successful, actually used pretty low tech uh, tools. The idea was to encourage kids to cook from scratch. One of the meals that the kids made uh, was coffee cup quiche. And we had uh, stations with three different recipes, and we printed out the recipes so kids could work on their own or in groups. And they read through the recipe. There were teens and adults there to help if they had any issues. Some of the kids had never cooked before. And so the ingredients that we used were uh, eggs, salt and pepper, cream cheese, Dijon mustard, uh, milk, and bread. And we have um, some kids that are gluten-free, so we had gluten-free bread. Uh, and bagels, and then we had ham and onions. Like any cooking project, we start by washing our hands. And then what we're gonna do is um, prep some of the ingredients. The only two uh, things that we needed to prep are cutting the ham and the onions. And this was a great opportunity for kids to get their first try at cutting safely. <laughs> And so we talked a little bit about food safety. Um, we talked about what ingredients kids already have at home, things that they like, things that they don't. And Olivia is going to go ahead and cut up our ham, which is going to be one of our ingredients. And unlike a normal quiche, this isn't going to have a crust, but we do incorporate the bread into it. And it's pretty fun because to eat it, all you need is a mug and basically a fork, which we're also going to be using for whisking. So now, beyond the cutting and the cutting boards, this project is pretty simple. You need a mug and a fork. And so what we're going to do is uh, kind of work from left to right, just like we read, and add the ingredients. So we're going to start with eggs. And for each mug meal, you only need one egg. You can go ahead and crack it into the mug. Some kids don't know how to crack eggs. Um, Olivia has had a little bit of practice, and so there are no shells in there, but for some kids we had to poke out the shells, or pick out the shells. And then, of course, all cooking projects involve a little bit of math. Um, so we needed to add a tablespoon and a half of milk. And so there was conversations about what the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Nice pouring, very accurate. Okay, so now we're going to whisk that up so the milk and egg are all blended together. And then we're going to add a little seasoning, uh, salt and pepper. Uh, some of the kids really wanted to measure out the salt and pepper, but I, I like to just add a little bit here and there. And some kids, thank you for while I add the salt and pepper. Um, some kids started with no salt and pepper and then added it at the end. Let's add a little pepper to yours also. All right. And so Olivia here is gluten-free, so she's going to add a little bit of gluten-free bread, which we had on hand. And I'm going to add a quarter of a bagel. And this kind of gives the crust effect that you would find in a traditional quiche. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of cream cheese. For kids who don't like cheese um, or cream cheese, they didn't have to add it. It makes it a little bit more creamy. The program lasts about two hours, so kids had the chance to try multiple recipes or even multiple versions of the same recipe. And those of us who were on hand to help out got to taste many of them. We're gonna kind of mix this in together, but cream cheese is not very mixable when it's cold, so that doesn't matter. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the chopped ham. And again, kids added as much as they wanted. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is the best part. We're going to make the magic happen. And we're actually going to microwave the mug meal. And if you have multiple kids, 
10 to 15 kids, it's great to have two microwaves on hand. Um, we have one to show you today, but we're basically gonna cook these one at a time. They take about a minute to cook. So very, very efficient process. So we'll put that mug in there, <coughs> close it up, and we're gonna press this express button for one minute. And we're gonna let it cook. And some kids moved on to another project while that one was waiting. Um, my job and the job of one of our volunteers was kind of to help manage the microwave. And um, we had uh, towels on hand to grab microwave, to grab items out of the microwave so that in case it was hot. Um, and we had paper towels to keep things clean. But this project was surprisingly clean. Um, kids were pretty conscientious about keeping the space um, the way they found it and were very helpful about cleaning up. So again, the project lasted about two hours, but leaving about half hour, 20 minutes for cleaning up at the end is very important. And if you have other staff or volunteers that are willing to help out um, the small groups or the individual cooks, that's an excellent element to the project. Here we have just two more seconds. And at this point, we tested it out. So you can see this looks very quiche-like, but we might want to give this a few more seconds. What do you think, Olivia? Let's see you look at the bottom. Maybe, yeah. We're going to give this 15 more seconds. We're going to set the timer. We're going to do that. All right. Let's give this a whirl and see what we got. All right, Olivia, you want to add some onions to the top and maybe even some sprinkled tea cheese. And for those who like a little bit of mustard, do you want to give it a taste? And some kids had never had quiche before, and so this was this was kind of a fun experience. And multiple parents, after we ran this program, thumbs up. We run these programs on Thursday. The following Saturday, um, multiple parents woke up to quiche in a mug for breakfast. And what parent doesn't love that?